Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is one that I'm really excited to film for you guys because today we are going to be doing a farewell video to Bite Beauty Cosmetics. So if you haven't seen, this is actually the fourth farewell video that I filmed like this recently and hopefully it is going to be my last. If you didn't see my last video, I also did a farewell video to Makeup Geek Cosmetics who in April of 2022 announced that she is discontinuing Makeup Geek Cosmetics and one short month later, Bite Beauty announced that they are going to be doing the same. So I think in Bite Beauty's case, they managed to keep open some of their lip labs but the cosmetics line is officially now discontinued. I managed to pick up quite a few items from the collection before they discontinued continued the brand. So today we're going to be doing a full face of Bite Beauty Cosmetics. So seeing as Bite Beauty didn't create every single product from every single category, I decided to pull out some of my unused products that we haven't yet tried, so we'll be trying some of that out too. So if you're curious to see what we come up with, then just continue watching. So starting off with one of Bite Beauty's most popular products, I'm going to be prepping my lips using this product right here. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Plus Intensive Lip Mask. So here is what it looks like. As you can see, it is just a deluxe sample. On the back of the box, it says superfood succulents and a desert oil mask for deep hydration and extreme recovery. So I'm going to start by prepping with this. So I'm going to start by squeezing some of that out onto my finger. Here is what the texture looks like. It's a little bit of a gel and I'm going to start placing that on my lips. And then moving on to makeup, I picked up both of their primers. So the first one is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer with Power Pure McKee Berry. This one here is for normal to dry skin. And then the other one that I picked up is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer with Power Pure McKee Berry as well. But this one here is for normal to oily skin. So I think today let's try them both out. So here is what the packaging looks like. As you can see, they come in identical squeezy tubes. The main difference is the drier one has a little tear filled in, whereas the oily one is actually quite clear. So let's start off with the dry one. So I'm going to start by taking some of that onto the tips of my fingers. Here is what the texture looks like. As you can see, it's kind of a milky cream. I'm going to start rubbing that between my fingers and I'm going to start applying that towards my cheeks, trying to avoid my T-zone. And then I'm next taking some of the oily skin formula and you can see this one's a little bit more of a thicker gel. Rubbing that between my fingers and then this one I'm going to be applying mainly in my central T-zone. This one also has a little bit of a scent. It's not menthol -y, but it's like a little bit herbal. And then for foundation, I've got this one right here. This is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharge Micellar Foundation with Power Pure McKee Berry. And the shade that I picked up is M55. And then here is what the bottle looks like. So you can see it comes in a squeezy tube just like the primers. So seeing as I don't know how much coverage this foundation has, I'm taking about that much product on the back of my hand. And then to apply that, I went into my box of unused products and I managed to find some Real Technique brushes that I haven't yet tried. So this one here is the Real Techniques Prep Complexion Blender Brush. It says mix makeup with skincare products, so I thought it'd be perfect for this. So on the top of this brush, you can see it's got this cool swirl pattern, so I think that's meant to help blend the foundation in better. So I'm going to go right ahead and start tapping that into the foundation. And I'm going to start applying that straight onto my cheeks. As you can see, the color that I chose is almost perfect. I feel like from one cheek to the other, you can barely tell the difference. And you can see it actually has covered up all my redness. However, I did actually use that entire amount on this half of my face. So there is what half of my face looks like with the foundation on it and you can see it actually looks really nice. It definitely looks like skin and as I said the colour match looks really good. I'd normally go right ahead and do the other half with a sponge but I can tell from the texture of this foundation I don't think I like it. So I'm going to take approximately the same amount of product on the back of my hand again and I'm going to use the same brush to apply that. So 
So for concealer, I didn't manage to pick up a Bite Beauty concealer because I'm not entirely sure that they made one. So I reached into my brand new products that I haven't tried and I found another shade of the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer. This one here is in the shade Fair Neutral. So I have tried the shade Fair, but I haven't tried Fair Neutral. So it could be the same shade, but I thought let's use this today. So I'm going to start by taking a little bit underneath the eyes, in between the brow, down the bridge of the nose, corners of the mouth, and the chin. And then to blend that out, I thought I'd try this brush right here. This is the Real Techniques Foundation Brush. And I'm going to start blending out that concealer. And then I'm really just blending the two together using the Reminiscent Foundation from my foundation brush. So before I go in and powder, I wanted to apply some of these cream blushes. These are the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks in the shades Blondie and Macaroon. So here is what the component looks like. As you can see, they come in a sleek slate grey packaging with Bite Beauty written on the bottom. The caps are also magnetized, which gives it a nice luxurious feel. They also wind up, and then as you can see, they have a little B right there for Bite Beauty. So here is the first one in the shade Blondie. And then here is the second one in the shade Macaroon. So I think today I'm going to try them both out. So I'm starting off with the shade Blondie, and I'm going to apply that straight onto my cheeks. I would actually say that shade is almost more of a cream bronzer, so I might actually take it around the perimeter of my face too. And then to blend that out, I'm going to try out this brush here from Real Techniques. This one here is the Stippling Brush. And then I'm going to start taking that brush to start patting in that cream multi-product. So you can see that shade works out quite well as like a one and done blushy bronzer kind of shade. You can see it's a little tiny bit red for a true bronzer, but I feel like if you just wore it alone, it actually worked out quite well. But to add a little bit more blush, I'm going to try out this shade here called Macaroon, and I'm going to apply that a little bit higher than how I applied Blondie. And then I'm taking that same brush to blend that out. And then there is what the shade Macaroon looks like on top, which you can see just gives it that really fresh sunburnt look. And then moving on to powder, I picked up one powder from Bite Beauty. This is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Flexible Coverage Pressed Powder with Power Pure Mackie Berry in the shade Light 2. That's so cute. On the inside, it comes with a powder and a puff. And then here is what the powder itself looks like. You can see it's a nice banana shade. And then on the inside of the compact, it has a nice large mirror. And then to apply the powder, I'm going to try out this brush right here. This is the Real Techniques Instapop Face Brush. So I'm going to take that brush straight into the powder. And I'm going to start setting my face. So there is what the powder looks like on one half of my face and as you can see it is super super blurring. You can see just how much smoother this side looks than this side. So apart from the multi sticks I don't think Bite Beauty ever came out with any powder cheek products. So I might go right ahead and pull this one out. This is the Tarte Tartist Volume 3 Contour Palette. So here is what the outer palette looks like. As you can see, it's got this foiled rose gold purple lid with Tartus written in purple. And then the outer palette itself is actually all gold. And then here is what the inside of the palette looks like. So you can see there's a blush, some highlights, and some bronzer and contour products. And then so you can see for reference, I actually have the first contour palette. So this is the first one and this is the third one. And then here is what the inside of the two palettes look like. Once again, the first one and the third one. So you can see the third one's definitely a little bit darker. So I'm first starting by grabbing this brush here, which is the Real Techniques Kabuki brush. And as you can see in the bottom, it actually folds out. So I'm going to try it for contour today. 
So here is what it looks like and as you can see when it's folded it looks like a regular packing kabuki brush but when you open it up you can actually hold it like this and you can actually use it to start contouring or bronzing. I'm not entirely sure the purpose but you can see it's kind of cool. So I'm going to start by taking my folded kabuki brush and I'm tapping into the bottom shade and I'm going to start contouring my cheeks. And then I'm taking the brush and flipping it upside down and I'm going to start contouring my forehead. So you can see it definitely works at giving me a nice smooth contour but this is a lot of work because every single time I move my finger it just wants to collapse upon itself. So it'd be cool if there was a way to like slide it and click it into place but it's fun and it's a little bit gimmicky but it's a lot of work. <laughs> So next I'm going to start bronzing, so I'm going to start by taking this brush here, which is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. And I'm tapping into this shade here, which is called Bronze. And I'm going to start lightly bronzing up my cheek. These powders smell so yummy. They have that signature cocoa scent that Tarte is well known for. I'm going to start also bronzing up my forehead and you can see that is super pigmented so just be careful. Next I'm grabbing this brush here which is the Real Techniques Instapop Cheek Brush. And I'm going to take the tip and start blending in both of the highlight shades. And I'm going to start applying that to the top of my cheekbone. above my brow, the bridge of my nose, and my cupid's bow. I dusted off the same brush on a tissue and I'm tapping into the blush. And I'm going to start panning that on top of my blushed areas. Okay, so I went right ahead and I zoomed you guys in so we can start on the eyes. But as you can see, I just filled in my brows and I primed my eyelids because I don't think Bite Beauty ever came out with those products. But speaking of products that I don't think they had, I don't think Bite Beauty had any eyeshadows. So I reached into my unused collection and I pulled out these ones from Marc Jacobs. These are the Marc Jacobs Omega Shadow Gel Powder Eyeshadows and I've got six different shades. So I think we'll see what we can come up with. So I'm starting by grabbing this duo right here. This is the Real Techniques Instapop Eye Brush Duo and I'm taking the bigger brush out of the two which is called the Instapop Shade Brush. So here is what the component looks like for the single shadows and you can see they are so cute. It's a little black pebble with Marc Jacobs written on the top and then there's a little latch right here towards the top of the actual component which has a magnetized closure. It's got a little mirror up the top and then it says Marc Jacobs on this little paper right here. And then when you take off the little plastic protector piece, here is what the actual shadow looks like. So I think we'll start off with this shade here, which is called 520, the big O. So I'm taking the Instapop shade brush straight into the shadow. And I'm going to start packing that on my outer half of my lid and starting to place it into the crease. I'm going to start flipping the brush upside down and I'm going to start blending out that crease shade. Next I'm grabbing the other brush from the duo which is called the Instapop Crease Brush. And I'm grabbing this shade here which is a little bit darker than the first one. This is 530 Daddy-O and I'm taking that brush and tapping straight into the powder. And I'm taking the very edge of the brush and I'm going to start running that shadow on my lower lash line. Next I'm grabbing the first brush again that we use for our crease and I'm grabbing this beautiful bronzy gold called 540 Bravo. And I'm going to start patting that brush into the shadow. And I'm going to start pressing that all over my lid. And then I'm taking the second brush that we use for our lower lash line into this dark slate charcoal grey called 580 Dynamo and I'm tapping straight into that. And I'm going to start smoking out a little bit of a wing shape. And 
then to really intensify that liner, I'm taking some liquid liner. This is the Bite Beauty Upswing Extreme Longwear Liquid Eyeliner, which is rich in passion flower and agave. This one here is in the shade Solid Black. So here is what the component looks like. You can see it comes in a beautiful copper rose gold container. And then when you open it up, it has a really skinny felt tip applicator. So I'm going to go right ahead and start drawing a wing liner. And then moving on to the product that I'm probably the most excited to try out of everything here. I've got to say, I have heard nothing but the best things about this mascara. This is the Bite Beauty Upswing Full Volume Mascara with Berry Wax. And this one here is in the shade Solid Black. On the back of the box, it's got quite a bit of information on what it claims to do. It says volumizing, lengthening, lifting, curl enhancing, smudge resistant, and intense color. The outer packaging of the bottle looks a lot like the liner, so you can see it's rose gold copper with black writing. And then the wand looks like this. You can see it's kind of a voluminous wand with an hourglass shape. So I'm going to go right ahead and start applying some mascara to my upper lashes. And my lower lashes. So there's what the eyes look like with this eye with mascara, two coats on top, one on the bottom, and no mascara. So I'd say it actually looks quite nice. It was a little bit difficult because it was kind of clinging on to some lashes and then completely not gripping onto others, but it's still a fresh mascara because it's quite a wet formula. I think it'll do a little bit better as it dries out. So I wanted to try a new style of lash that I haven't worn before, but sadly you can't buy these anymore. These are the Gemma Isabella Cosmetics Unbothered Lashes. So I thought, let's do a before and after. So here are my eyes without the lashes. And then here are my eyes with the lashes on. You can see they are such a pretty full lash. And then moving on to lips, I've got three different shades of the Bite Beauty Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon enriched with wild African mango extract. I've got the shades Lecce, Sugarcane, and Amaretto. So here is what the packaging looks like. You can see they come in very similar colored packaging to the multi sticks, but these ones here are in crayon form. And then here is what the crayon itself looks like. So you can see it's a wind up, wind down component. So I think let's go right ahead and swatch them. So the first one here is called Lecce. The second shade here is called Sugarcane. And then the final shade here is called Amaretto. These are all so pretty. I think today let's try a little ombre between the last two. So I'm going to start lining and filling the perimeter with the shade Amaretto. And then I'm going to start filling in the center with the shade Sugarcane. And then finally to top it off, I've got three different shades of the Bite Beauty French Press Lip Gloss. I've got the shades Flat White, Vanilla Latte, and Salted Caramel. And then here is what the packaging for the lip gloss looks like. So you can see it matches that same vibe. It's got the dark grey lid with Bite written in the center, and then it's got a clear bottom. So once again, you've got Flat White, Vanilla Latte, and Salted Caramel. Here is what the applicator looks like. So you can see it's a bent doe foot. These also have a really nice kind of coffee scent, which is super fitting. And then here is what the three glosses look like swatch. So you can see they're super high shine. I think today let's try flat white. So I'm taking that straight into the center of my lip. So yeah, guys. This is my finished full face one brand featuring Bite Beauty Cosmetics. I've got to say, I'm so happy with the finished result. I love how sun-kissed and bronzy and fresh and glam this look turned out. But I've got to say, it makes me even sadder to see another brand leave our stores because it's so good to find some nice luxurious quality ingredients that are also quite clean and perform really well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, then you know what to do.
please feel free to leave me a like, comment and leave any requests that you have down below in the comment bar, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and drag it all the way down to all to become a part of this family and be notified of all my future videos and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer with Pure Mackey, Mackey, Mackey. The Wind, oh my gosh. Dark Gunmetal Cold 580 Bravo. Nope.